Hello again our most valid student. My name is Confident and welcome to Agurland Tech's 24 minute lesson. This is a short piece or an excerpt of a lesson and this lesson is talking of factors. Now when you're looking at factors, I'm just going to show you the algebraic fractions. On these fractions, I will focus on addition and subtraction. It's the addition and subtraction of fractions. That is what the excerpt of this lesson is going to focus on. Let us look at a typical exam question that you can get where you have to simplify a fraction. For example, suppose you're given the following fraction 1 over x squared plus 3x plus 2 plus x over x plus 1 plus x over x plus 2. If you want to simplify this fraction, the most important thing is to focus on your denominator. Now, the first denominator that you have is x squared plus 3x plus 2. The second denominator is x plus 1. And the third denominator is x plus 2. Of course, these look simplified. But now, there is something interesting about this x squared plus 3x plus 2. Let us first simplify it or factorize it and see what we are going to have in its factorized version. Don't use it as it is because somehow, somehow, you will discover that it is linked to these two. Now, let us factorize it. If you are to factorize x squared plus 3x plus 2, I'm going to use the product sum method. Now, the product sum method says my product, meaning multiplication. Remember, product means multiplication. I have a 1 there, so I'll multiply 1 times 2. So my product is multiplying these two numbers. For more on the product method, you can also look at the other versions where there is another video where I focus on factorizing. If you can find it, it will gladly help you to understand the product sum method. So here, what is my product? I multiply 1 times 2, then I'm going to get a 2, a positive 2 in this case. And what is my sum? Sum means plus is the number at the center, in which case it is this number. So my sum with its sign is positive 3. Now the next thing is to look at the factors. So here I'm looking at two numbers. When I multiply them, I get a 2, and when I add them, I get a 3. In other ways, I'm going to focus on looking at the factors of 2. What are the factors of 2? In other ways, which two numbers can I multiply to get 2? And I can get 2 by saying 2 times 1. Now, if I can get 2 by saying 2 times 1, I get a 2, which is correct. How can I get a sum of 3 from these two numbers? As you can see, if I say 2 plus 1, I will get a 3. Here, 2 times 1, I got a 2. So there is my product, and there is my sum. So two numbers, which when I multiply, I get a 2, and I add, I get a 3. These two numbers are positive 2 and positive 1. So I can rewrite this expression now as x squared plus, where there was 3x, now I write plus 2x plus x, which is 1x, plus 2. Then I can focus on the first two and focus on the last two. Let me work it on this end. If I focus on the x2, what's common between the first two? I have got x. As you can see, I will have x plus 2 plus Already I have x plus 2 here, so I can just take out a 1, and I will have x plus 2. Now, what I have here, I can write any of the things inside the brackets, which is x plus 2. And what is outside the bracket? It is that one and that one, which is x plus 1. Now, I have factorized it. And look what is interesting. After factorizing, you can see that the two are linked, actually x plus 2 is linked there, and x plus 1 is linked there. In actual fact, then, the lowest common denominator will be x plus 2 and x plus 1. So when we rewrite this one, we are now going to have 1 over x plus 2, x plus 1. This is the factorized version, plus, if we go back, x over x plus 1, 
sorry about that, plus x over x plus 1, plus, the last one is x over x plus 2, x over x plus 2. Then what we have here, as I said, let us look at the common denominator. You can see x plus 2 is repeating on all these, and you can see x plus 1. So the common denominator is x plus 2 and x plus 1. Now, what I'm doing now, I'm going to say, this is what it, what it means when you're looking at fractions. It's like x plus 2, x plus 1 into x plus 2, x plus 1. This into that. So it's like you're having x plus 2, x plus 1, which is my common denominator, which is this one, divided by my first fraction denominator, which is x plus 2 and x plus 1. You can see that this cancels to give me a 1. So after that, I multiply the answer I get here, which is a 1 times the numerator, which is this one, which is 1 times 1. I'm going to get a 1. So there will be a 1 here. Plus, the next one is x plus 2, x plus 1. x plus 1. My denominator divided by the what? The denominator of the next fraction, which is x plus 1. If I do that, I will cancel. I will remain with x plus 1. So this x plus 1 will multiply my numerator in which I will have x multiplying x plus 1. Repeat the same step plus now what I have is x plus 2, x plus 1 over by the x plus 2. So I'm going to have x plus 1 remaining but it will multiply by the numerator which is x so it's x multiplying by x plus 1. So when you have got this, you have to open up your brackets now. So what I'm going to have, which is equal to 1 plus x squared, I multiply that, and I multiply that, so I'm opening up the brackets, plus x, plus, I do the same, multiply the brackets, plus x squared, plus x, all over, x plus 2 and x plus 1 which is equal to I collect like terms which is x squared plus x squared collect this x squared together and plus x plus x collect the x together plus 1 all over x plus 2 and x plus 1, which is equal to, now when you, you simplify x squared plus x squared, it's 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 over x plus 2 and x plus 1. Now, can we try to simplify 2x squared plus 2x plus 1? Let's try that one. If you try to factorize it, 2x squared plus 2x plus 1. What is my product? Remember the times. The product is this number and multiplied by that number. So what is 2 times 1? It is a positive 2. And the sum is the number at the center. In which case, it is that number plus 2. So it's plus 2. So I'm looking for two numbers. When I multiply them, I get a 2. And when I add them, I must get a 2. So, which two numbers, when I multiply them, I get a 2. And when I add them, I also get a 2. If you can check, uh, factors of 2. So, what are the factors of 2? You can do it by 2 times 1. There is no other number that you can multiply. Hence, you cannot further simplify that. Hence, your final answer will be 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 all over x plus 2 it was x plus 2 x plus 1 if you can check again it was x plus 2 x plus 1 
and x plus 1. So this then becomes your final answer. To get more of these videos, please visit our website on www.egurulenitech.co.za. If you need more, this is for N3. And then should you need more of these videos, you can subscribe and for a fraction of a price, you can get these so that you can prepare for your mathematics N3. Thank you.